Hi, Katie, and I'm Dave Baker. Here's a look at news making headlines today. Governor Edwards is requesting a major disaster declaration for the state of Louisiana. If approved by President Trump, that declaration would allow the state to receive federal funding for damages caused by Delta. The governor is requesting FEMA assistance for debris removal and emergency protective measures in Acadia, Calcasieu, Cameron, Jeff Davis, and Vermilion parishes. More parishes could be added to the declaration after further assessments. Governor John Bell Edwards will hold a media briefing on the state's response to hurricanes Delta, Laura and the pandemic at 2 o'clock. You can stream that briefing at KTC.com. More crews and trucks are on their way to Lafayette to pick up storm debris. According to LCG, they should have more than two dozen trucks running by the weekend. Right now, 13 trucks and 17 crews are working to clear debris across the parish. Students at schools nationwide will be able to eat daily breakfast and lunch meals free of charge thanks to a USDA waiver, which is valid through May 2021 or until available funds are depleted. The free meals will be available to all students regardless of income eligibility. Under the extension, all LPSS students will receive daily breakfast and lunch meals at no cost, including both on-campus meals and meals to go. Snack meals for after-school care programs will also be provided at no charge. If you're looking for a way to help those impacted by Hurricane Delta, we have an event for you. On Friday, KTC will partner with United Way, Second Harvest Food Bank, and Catholic Charities of Acadiana for a food and supply drive to benefit victims of Hurricane Delta. Those drive hours are from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can drop off food and supplies at the United Way campus at 215 East Pinhook Road. We have a full list of items you can donate at KTC.com donate. Well, we've got mostly sunny skies out there today. It's a good looking day. Highs get up to around the 87 degrees there in the afternoon. Mixture of sun and clouds by the time we get later on today with more and more clouds arriving throughout the evening. That's going to be a front that drifts into the area by early tomorrow morning. 61 for the overnight low tonight. We will sit in the upper 60s for tomorrow and a little bit on the cooler side and get cool here tonight and then cold as we get into Saturday morning or chilly. I guess I should say 51 for the overnight low mid 70 temperatures then for your Saturday afternoon. 87 for the high, mostly sunny skies today. Lows get down to around 61. Got a good looking forecast coming up.